Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a countdown timer to your Shopify store. Here's exactly what you can do. Just follow me closely. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Shopify store account or your Shopify account. Now, because this is a beginner's tutorial, I don't want to assume that you know how to create an account on Shopify. The good news is that you can access Shopify using any browser of your choice. So it's very much important. Just launch your browser and then head over to the top corner where you're going to find the search bar. In the search bar, all you need to do is to type Shopify.com and it's going to take you to the official website. From the website, head over to the top right corner. You're going to see Get Started. Click on that and then follow through with the processes to create an account. And once you're done with the processes, which are self-explanatory, then it will be able to take you right here into the home page where you can now navigate a lot of features to have an amazing experience on Shopify. So now that we are here, of course, you need to create a store or to launch a store before you can access some of the features, you know. And how do you do that? Of course, once you start creating your account, we're going to take you through step-by-step -step processes to start your store. And then in case you do not finish the process and you want to continue, head over to this home page, you're going to see setup guide, and you're going to see your progress level, and then click on that and then follow through with the process to, of course, start creating your store to complete the process. Now, for us to head over to today's sessions, how to add a content timer, I'd like you to know something before we proceed. There is no direct command on Shopify that allows you to add the, the countdown timer, but we can definitely get a widget, which of course can be found in the, app, the um, Shopify app store. And of course, once we get the widget, then we can now add it to the Shopify store and we can now add the countdown timer or the, um, okay, so here we go. So let's head over to the um, Shopify app store. So from my, of course, my browser, top right corner, you're going to see um, this. So this is Shopify App Store. So I'm just going to open it up and see what it looks like. I don't like to click on this one that has um, sponsored. So this is the App Store. So from the App Store, you can now find any widget of your choice. So go ahead in this App Store, go ahead and click on Countdown Timer. So this is it. So open it up and you're going to see a lot of choices, a lot of widgets. So right here, I actually choose the essential countdown timer bar, which is built for Shopify. So I clicked on that. And of course, once you click on it, it's going to tell you to install. And once you, but that this is saying open app because I've already installed it. If you have not, you're going to say install. And once you click on install, it's now going to take you right into the Shopify page and top right corner, you're going to ask to install. So click on install. And once you install, it's now going to be added to your applications. So here you go. This is it. So I can now head over to this left corner. Or oh, just gonna go back. So this left corner, you're gonna find home, others, products, customers, content, um, analytics, marketing, discount, online store, point of sale, and applications. So I'm gonna open up this applications, and you're gonna see this extended menu right here translate and adapt search and discovery all of these are the applications that i installed from the shopify app store so because i want to use the essential countdown to add the countdown timer to my store i'm just going to click on that essential countdown so i click on that so you can see it's pinned and i'm just going to wait for what the window is going to show me so this is it so you can add surprising plans and then timer so say you're currently on a free plan and this is where you manage your timer. Okay, so start by creating your first content timer and publishing it to your store, which is exactly what we want to do. So you can go over here to click on create a new timer or head over here to, to click on create a new timer. So whichever one you want to choose. And so I'm going to click on that. So this is it for product page. As you can see at the top, you're going to find um, what the preview is like. So block in product page below add to cart button and this is top slash bottom bar fix your sticky bar on the top of the bottom of any page or the bottom of any page and then you have landing page blocking home collection password or any other page so i'm going to scroll the way down you're going to see another option here that says cart page so add a content timer to your cart page and suggest a new timer type if you have and then essential free shipping bar increase average order value by up to 
30% with a fish mob that is just promoting. So I'm just going to click on um, top to bottom bar. So I'm just clicking on select this timer tag. So this is the timer name. I'm not published because I have not published it. And then this is what the timer is like. Hurry up, sales ends in this and that. So I scroll all the way down because I have to edit all of this. So this timer name, I can change this timer name to whooping discounts. So here that says title, hurry up, sales ends in. I think I'll like to leave that here. Subheading, I don't think I have. And then this is a button, call to action, of course. And the button text is, um, we need a button, right? That's the essence of this tutorial, but you can definitely change it right here to anything. But then shop now, let's change it to grab yours. It strikes me like something cool. And then scroll all the way down. Timer levels, days, hours, minutes, seconds. I think I like that. Add translation. I don't want to do that. Countdown to a date, fix minutes. And then you're going to have to, if you want to do fix minutes, click on fix minutes or countdown to a date. I want to leave that there. And then timer starts, of course, or you want to schedule to start later, you can click on this and then schedule it. So it's not, you can schedule if you don't upgrade, so you have to upgrade to a schedule. End date, you can, of course, affect this change. You can change this end date at the end of time. And then this is unpublished timer. You're going to publish it soon enough. So scroll the way up and then click on publish. Timer saved. Yes, so this is whooping discounts and this is so essential um countdown timer app is not activated yet please activate the app by clicking activate button then say okay so i'm just going to click on activate to see how that can be activated but i activated it i don't know why so as you can see i have activated it and you see it's my countdown is live now grab yours now so you can see these are the changes that i made so i can just go all the way back and see all right, so where is my, um, is it here, is it here, is it here? Okay, so here, so this is my kind of, as you can see, this is grab yours now. And I'm super excited because this was just added effortlessly. And um, so I can go over, I can go back to my home page and see if this is my essential. So head over to home. And then I think I'm going to have to like refresh the space so that everybody on Shopify will know that, yeah, I have added my countdown stuff. So I'm going to head over to click on applications and um, essential countdown and see what it has for me. So it's not going to have to pop up that stuff that says uh, it's not published, it's not activated because I have actually activated it. So... This can now load up successfully and um, and then we're just going to have all of that. So heading over to my um, page. So as you can see, the content is already on. As you can see, the content is live in two hours for me. So anybody that comes to my page, once I launch this, I can go ahead and click on save right here so that the countdown can definitely be saved. So this is it. So this is already live. So once I have published my website now clients or customers potential customers can now head over to my website and they're going to see grab yours now let's say this is a discount and you're like what exactly is in this grab yours so they can just go ahead and click on that and see what exactly is in the grab yours now so they're going to get their amazing package if you want to turn off the time as you can see this is um so toggle it off and it's off the site so Toggle it on and you're going to see that it is going to be back on. So this is pretty much the process. You can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you are done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video meticulously helped your search.